Welcome to Not in Clay. Fifth grade memory bowls. You will be creating a memory bowl of your time spent at Nodding. Think about special talents or interests that you may have formed while you've grown throughout your time at Nodding. Please pause this video if you need more time. Enjoy yourself and be creative. Let's get started. Step one, grab your model magic clay. Step two, use two clay packets to start. Combine the two packets together and work the clay around with your palms and your hands until you form a ball. Then you can start to roll it flat with a rolling pin or a marker. As you roll, flip over and turn so that you get an even circle. Roll flat until you have about a one-fourth to half inch thickness. Step three, use a bowl for a mold. Find a bowl around your house that you can use as a mold. It helps to wrap the bowl in plastic wrap. That way it'll be easier to remove your mold once it's dry. Gently push the clay into the bowl until it forms into the shape of the bowl. Don't push too hard because you don't want the clay to stick to the bowl. You just want it to sit in the bowl. Adding your design. Start by adding the year. You can add things like 2021, or you can do 2020 to 2021, or you can say fifth grade. Start by rolling out a piece of clay until it is about a pinky's thickness. Then you can start forming the numbers for your year. Use a toothpick or scissors to trim or cut any edges off. It might help if you put your twos together so that you can copy them so they look the same. Trim and smooth out the edges of your bowl. You can do this by using scissors or just with your finger pushing until it is about even. Place the numbers in the bowl and gently push so they are firmly in place.
Now you can build up the sides of your bowl, making a paintbrush. As one of my favorite things to do is paint and art, I am going to make a paintbrush for my memory bowl. However, this is your memory bowl, so we want you to think about all the special memories that you formed at Nodden. Add something that represents you or your time at Nodden. Add things like your interests, talents, hobbies that you may have, sports you might like to play, whatever you would like. To make a paintbrush, just make the stem out of some clay. I made mine more of a square shape. And then I made a triangle with a rounded edge. And I'm using my scissors to indent small little indications of brush hairs. You can use a toothpick, scissors, anything that sort of will imprint into the clay. Lay down your paintbrush or whatever you've chosen to represent yourself and gently push and put it into your bowl. Now I'm going to make a little tube of paint for my paintbrush. I smooth out any sort of imperfections or creases in the clay until I get a nice clean surface. I'm using another piece of clay to make the cap for my tube of paint. It's important to add little details. It makes your bowl look great after you paint it. So for example, on my tube of paint, I am creating the little edge um, of the bottom of my tube of paint. And now all I'm using is a toothpick to just put little indications. Before you place anything into your bowl, make sure you're happy with the position of it because once you put the clays together, it is a little tough to pull them apart. Making a book or a journal. I love to read. It is probably one of my favorite hobbies, so I'm going to make some books to represent my love for reading. However, if you like to journal, draw in a sketchbook, this example of how to make a book works for all. Start by rolling out a piece of clay until it is flat to represent the cover of the book. The easiest is to use scissors to just cut the shape of the book. Basically, just cut a rectangle. Fold it in half so it looks like a little book. Again, use your toothpick to add some details. I'm making the spine of my book. Using my remaining clay, I will now make an open book. With this cut, I'm going to make my book cover at a little bit more of an angle. So I would recommend, after you get your rectangular shape, go in and give a slight edged cut into the center so that it looks a little bit more three-dimensional book. Once 
once you're done cutting the little angles out, do not fold it all the way so the two pieces touch. Make sure it stays open because if the two pieces of clay touch, they will stick together. Use your tube toothpick to indent inside. Since I'm going to be putting pages on top of my cover, I'm going to score just a little bit so that the clay will stick to each other. Repeat the last step of making the cover for the book, the same for making the pages in the book. Roll out a piece of clay and cut it into a triangle with a slight angle into the middle. Remember, you have to cut the pages a little bit smaller than the cover so that you can see both pieces. Now, go ahead and bend it with a toothpick in the middle. Make an indentation with your toothpick in the middle to show the crease of the book. If you want to add details of the writing, you can take your toothpick and make small little indentations into your pages. Once you paint, this will come out a lot more. You can also add details of writing once you paint. Once you're happy with your books or your sketchbook or your journal, find the right placing in your bowl. When you're happy at the spot, push it into place and firmly press. Great job. Step five, air dry. Let your project dry for up to one day until it is firm to the touch. Remove the project from the bowl so that it can dry on the other side. Leave it for another day to dry upside down. Step six. Once it is completely dry, you can go ahead and paint and decorate. Some great ideas for decorating can be beads, paint, sparkles, markers, watercolors, glitter glue, yarn, feathers, sequins, tissue paper, sticks, or whatever you can find around your house. Thank you from Not in Clay.